as a baby, as I was literally being born, the doctor looked me in the eyes as I came out of my mother's womb, and he said to me, you're gonna be a baby bull. And it was that moment I knew that Bitcoin uh, was going to do big things. And what has just happened over the last 72 hours is potentially the biggest thing that's ever happened to Bitcoin. And the narrative could not be stronger. Why this is so big is not simply because we've gotten a move from under 20K to uh, over 24K. That's not why it's big. The reason this is so big is that um, everybody's been looking, trying to predict a potential black swan event, right? Everybody, like, for, first of all, you can't predict a black swan because one of the definition, part of the definition is it's, it's not predictable. Yet everyone's trying to predict one, right? Not only did we not get a black swan, we might have just gotten the strongest white swan event in history, the strongest narrative Bitcoin could have ever used. People really do flood into Bitcoin because they realize that the banks are not safe and you know they cannot get their money if they want it, like we're seeing now. If people actually realize this, then you know, $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 per Bitcoin is literally only the beginning for this. And we could potentially start breaking these cycles. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the chart of uh, technology charts of something like Amazon, like the internet, where you know, there's growth for a little bit and it's, it's pretty positive, but then there's a certain point where it just completely takes off. And this narrative is exciting to me and I think a lot of people because this is potentially the very first time there's a real, real need and people are very quickly waking up to it that uh, th there's a need for Bitcoin and the banks simply um, at any moment could stop doing their job. And that's what's so interesting over the past 72 hours is that. It's not really that price has gone up $4,000, like that's nice and everything, but it's, it's much bigger than that. Um, we've seen record amounts of liquidations in very short amounts of time. Just 30 minutes, we've seen tens of millions of Bitcoin get liquidated, short positions get liquidated. Um, and I, I believe that's going to continue here. With the Fed hiking rates faster than ever before, as you can see on this chart, um, they basically had a choice. They can raise rates until inflation comes down or until something breaks. And again, this is evidence that potentially things are breaking right now. Just like in 2008, Lehman Brothers was not the first to collapse. Uh, Lehman Brothers was the big boy that did end up collapsing, but um, months before that, smaller banks needed to be bailed out. And potentially, are we seeing a similar situation? It's not similar at all in terms of the reason why the banks collapsed, collapsed in 2008, but the similarities are there that potentially we're seeing something actually break. And um, this time is different than 2008 because this time we have an alternative which we did not in 2008. Bitcoin did not exist. Bitcoin was created afterwards as a direct response and as an alternative uh, to this. You know, this is huge because people that are buying Bitcoin right now, uh, majority of them are long-term holders. About three fourths or 75% almost of the people that are holders of Bitcoin are long-term holders, meaning they've been invested for a year, years plus. And basically all that means is there's not enough Bitcoin for everyone. Not everybody can own one whole Bitcoin. Um, far less than 21 million people can ever own a whole Bitcoin, considering there's estimated like five or six million Bitcoin totally lost, and other entities, you know, hold tens of uh, tens of Bitcoin, hundreds of Bitcoin, thousands of Bitcoin. So supply crunch is realistic, and that further adds to the the idea and the the reality that Bitcoin can pump very much so. Basically, to sum it up, the last 72 hours have been huge for Bitcoin, and um, the price can go up a lot quicker than I think a lot of people believe it will, believe it could.